Gatling tank, ready for action! Welcome back, General. I am your intel officer, Bruce. It's been 20 years since you've been on the field, so let's get you caught up. Today, we will be reviewing the Gatling Unit tank. Lost. These tanks have stayed mostly true to their former selves. The boys in Beijing have kept them as a core part of their armies, gunning down anything on land or in the air. After the harsh lessons of the Zero Hour Crisis, Kwai dreamed to improve the tank, but no matter how much they try, all three of these perform exactly the same. You can't build Rome by counting dimes. Oh, but those Reds have really stepped it up with the quantity over quality doctrine. Unlike their performance during the Zero Hour Crisis, now all Chinese tanks benefit from Horde bonus. Blades in motion. <laughs> Unit lost. Their horde bonus can be upgraded with nationalism, which increases their rate of fire even further. How does that work? Hit them real hard with bullets. But safe. Provisions en route. Unit lost. The war factory is now dedicated to vehicle production. Chain guns, which now increase rate of fire and damage, is now locked to the propaganda center. As is with these fanatical hordes, they also benefit from the nationalism upgrade. All Chinese ground units are indoctrinated by the Chinese propaganda center. Keep the cylinders oiled. Push them through. Tank. Ready for action. Take it into high gear. Spin them up. Some things never change. Gatlings still Let's dominate quads, but Let's Chinese units there. are no lone wolves. It's better to hunt the pack. Gun barrel spinning. Rapid fire. Rapid fire. New standardization has reduced their effective range towards aircraft. Hence, they might have to get closer to bring something down. Don't let this upset you, General. All the major powers have brought heavier anti air equipment to fill in this gap. This, however, will be included in future reports. Chinese High Command suggests them to be used early on as opening units to engage in clear light units. They should be used to flank while steering clear of any fortified defenses. Later on, they are excellent additions for any strike force that requires anti-personnel or anti-air support. Adding troop crawlers to your strike force is always wise, as you'll receive propaganda bonus for field repairs and increased rate of fire bonus. Did I mention they also detect Frequency stealth units? On standby. ECM tank. 
Another key component to any strike force is the Banshee ECM tank, which prevents snipes from land or sky by jamming missiles of any kind. Oh, one more thing, General. Some Chinese generals in the field, with the correct authorizations, can switch their factories to produce lower tier tanks and higher qualities, such as Gatling tanks. This is called optimized production. Also, with the War Propaganda Unlock, a single tank can provide hard bones to itself and units around it, alongside a decent repair. This allows it to overcome engagements it shouldn't be able to before. Gun barrel spinning! Should they have nationalism upgrade, that single tank can fully heal itself instantly. A real game changer and something to look out for in the field. Be careful, General. Yeah, I've been trying to finish this video for a while. It's been actually weeks, two months. I procrastinated a lot and motivation's a problem. Real life came in and right now I'm suffering through COVID, but I'm very glad that I can finally put this to an end. I'd like to thank Hanfield for all his help, for Calvin and DMAM. They've been great and you as a community have been great. And for all of you, at the end of the video, there's going to be two renders of the Gatling tank for my Zereds, black and white and colored, and they're available for download if you want to use them as a wallpaper. I hope you enjoyed this and enjoy the wallpapers themselves.